In this module of Azure Fundamentals, we will understand everything about the Azure Storage Services. I will tell and give you more insights on Azure Storage Account and then I will give you all the details on all the different types of Azure Storage Types. Practical lab on Azure Portals, use cases and everything that you need to crack Azure Storage Services coming up in this video. So firstly my friends, let's set the objective of this video. So first of all, we will understand what exactly is Azure Storage Account and why it is needed. Then at the second point, we will compare all the storage types along with the storage tiers. And thirdly, we will understand the Azure Data Redundancy option and then we will talk about the Azure Utilities such as Easy Copy, Azure Storage Explorer and then we will also talk about the Azure File Sync. And lastly my friends, we will talk about the migration options including Azure Migrate and Azure Data Box. And ensure watching this video till the very end as I unveil two of the very latest storage options that I am sure that probably you don't know. And just in case my friends you have lost the track, let me tell you that this is our section 2.3 and this course is fully synced with the Microsoft Azure Fundamental course for AZ900. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So friends, before I really dive into the Microsoft Azure Storage account and give you all the theory, let me start by giving you a very simple analogy. And trust me, this simple analogy will really help you understand Azure Storage and Azure Storage account in a much better and simpler way. So now just for a while, think of Azure Storage account as your bank account. And as happens in all of the bank, each bank account has a unique number and a set of services that allows you to deposit, withdraw and transfer money. And on top of that, you can have multiple types of bank accounts. For example, you can have saving bank account, you can have current bank account, depending upon the interest rate, fees and transaction limits. And very similar to the bank accounts, Azure Storage account has a unique name and set of services that allows you to store, retrieve and manage data. And of course, as you can choose different types of bank accounts, similarly, you can also choose different types of storage account, depending on your needs of storage, performance, redundancy and pricing needs. So now that you understand a basic idea of what is Azure Storage Account, let me tell you every company has its own need for storing data in the cloud. The company or the organization or maybe the individuals want to store some raw files or images or videos or maybe some logs or telemetry data and yes for all these different needs you can use different types of Azure Storage in a single Azure account. So simply put Azure Storage is a cloud storage solution that provides highly available durable, scalable and secure storage for various types of data objects such as blobs, files, queues, tables, disk and containers. And friends, Azure Storage Account is a container that holds all of your Azure Storage data objects. For example, I just mentioned that we have different types of Azure Storage such as blobs, files, queues, tables, disk and containers all comes under Azure Storage Account. And as I just mentioned with the bank analogy, it has a unique name and set of endpoints that allows you to access your data from anywhere in the world over HTTP or HTTPS protocol. So I hope now you understand what is the prime difference between Azure Storage Account and Azure Storage Type. Friends, following are the different services in the Azure Storage Platform that you can use for your different needs and use cases. First of all, we have Azure Blobs and this is a massively scaled object store for text and binary data. Also includes support for big data analytics through Data Lake Storage Gen 2. And then we have Azure Files which is nothing but managed file shares for cloud and on-premises deployments. And then on number 3 we have Azure Queues which is a messaging store for reliable messaging between application components. At number 4 we have Azure Tables which is a NoSQL store for schemaless storage for structured data. And then at number 5 we have Azure Managed Disk which is a block level storage volumes for Azure Virtual Machine. At number 6 we have Azure Elastic Sand, a fully integrated solution that simplifies deploying, scaling, managing and configuring a SAN in Microsoft Azure. And finally at number 7 we have Azure NetApp Files which is an enterprise file storage powered by NetApp. And yes it is very important to note that all the storage types are accessible through their respective endpoints. And here you can see all the endpoints of the services on Microsoft website and once again I want to stress out that you must visit Microsoft documentation for the latest documentation on any of the Microsoft Azure services including Azure storage services. And of course as always you will find all the relevant documentation in the description box. Now let's check out each of these Azure storage services in much more detail. 
First of all, we have Azure Blobs. Now, Azure Blobs, which are seamlessly scalable object store for text and binary data. And for those who do not know, the word blob means binary large object, and this is cloud object storage. So, Azure Blobs lets you store large amount of unstructured data in Microsoft Cloud Platform. And in case you do not know what exactly is unstructured data, let me simplify this for you. So, unstructured data, my friends, is that data that does not fit into any specific data model or definition. For example, in case you have ever worked on the relational databases such as Oracle or SQL Server, you must have worked with the database table. Now, what happens in the database tables is that you always have a predefined schema or the structure of the table. But in case of unstructured data, you do not have any schema or any structure predefined. And you know what, my friends, it's not very difficult to understand unstructured data because in today's world of social media, unstructured data has gained immense focus. So all the images, your photos, your memories, your video files or maybe the track of your tweets are just an example of unstructured data. So now you can imagine how important Azure Blob or Blob Storage is in this social media world. Now let's take a step forward and understand what are the three major types of Blob Storage. First of all, we have Block Blobs and Block Blobs are designed to store both text and binary data. And these are consistent manageable blocks of data, each is capable of independent management and the storage capacity of block blobs is approximately 4.7 terabyte with the larger block blobs up to 190.7 terabytes. And now we have second type of blob storage that is append blobs and friends append blocks are created using the blobs just like block blobs are specifically optimized for append operations. So they are particularly useful for the scenarios involving continuous logging of data such as data generated by your virtual machines. And lastly, we have page blobs. These page blobs are designed to store random access files supporting size up to 8 terabytes. Now, very important point, maybe you get some questions in the AZ900 as well on this topic that the page blobs serves as the virtual hard drives for the virtual machines. So you might get some questions in AZ900 where the question might be asking you what is the base storage for Azure virtual machine. In that case, you have to choose page blobs. Okay, so now we understand what is blob storage and what are the different types of blob storage. Now let's understand what are the different tier levels and it's a very important concept as it directly impacts the cost and most definitely you will get some questions in AZ900 exam. So first of all, we have hot storage tier and this one is ideal for the objects that are accessed frequently. But please also remember that this is the most expensive option. Then we have cool storage tier and this one is optimized for the data that is infrequently accessed. And this of course is a lesser expensive option as compared to the hot tier. And then at number three, we have cold access tier and please, please mind the difference here. At number two, I mentioned cool access tier and here I'm mentioning cold access tier. So friends, cold access tier is an online tier optimized for storing data that is rarely accessed or modified, but then it still requires the fast retrieval. And also my friends, data in the cold tier should be stored for a minimum of 90 days. And of course, the cold access tier has a lower cost when compared to the hot access tier and cool access tier. And lastly, we have archive storage tier and this one is optimized for the data which is rarely accessed, mostly used in the archiving or backup of data. And this one is the least expensive data tier. Now let me give you some use cases for the Azure Blobs so that you can better understand when to use Azure Blobs. Firstly, we have serving images or the documents to a web browser. So Azure Storage facilitates the efficient delivery of the images or the documents directly to a web browser, enhancing the user experience. Then the second use case is storing files for the distributed access and files stored in Azure Storage can be accessed and distributed seamlessly across various locations, promoting efficient collaboration and sharing. And thirdly, we have streaming of videos and audios. Azure Storage supports the smooth streaming of videos and audio content, providing a reliable platform for multimedia applications. And then at number four, we have writing to log files. So Azure Storage is very suitable for writing the log files, enhancing the semantic recording and the analysis of the application or system activities. And the last use case I can give to you is storing data for backup, restore and disaster recovery and archiving. And as I mentioned earlier as well, Azure Storage serves as a robust solution for storing data crucial for the application backup, restore operation, disaster recovery planning or long-term archiving. 
So in this video, we understood what is Azure storage account and what exactly is the need for the same. And then we talked about what are different types of Azure storage services. And thirdly, we understood Azure blobs in quite some details and cover details like what is Azure blob, why it is needed, what are the use cases for the same. And we also understood four access tiers for Azure blob. And friends, in the next video, we will talk about the Azure files and I've stored a live demo for you on how to create Azure storage account and Azure blobs. And not just that, I will also show you some good practices in Microsoft Azure on resource management, missing on which you will be end up in losing a lot of money. So loads of super exciting Azure learning is coming up in this video series. So please do consider liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. And do not forget to press that bell icon so that you are getting timely notifications of your Azure learnings. And of course, my friends, you can always extend your learning. In addition to these videos, you can also visit our blogs, the techblackboard.com com slash blog and not only that you can also join our membership community where we provide extra learning material and also my friends i've shared some best courses from both udemy and coursera on microsoft azure the links are there in the description box and that's all for today i will see you in the next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching